श्री सुखेंदु शेखर रे नाइन मिनट्स आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू मेक ए पॉलिटिकल स्पीच बिकॉज मैटर रिलेट्स टू ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिल रिलेटिंग टू नेशनल कैपिटल टेरिटरी ऑफ दिल्ली सर देर इज नो साउंड फ्रॉम दिस माइक्रोफोन आई कैन नॉट साउंड नो वॉल्यूम नो वॉल्यूम हेयर आई कैन हेयर आई कैन नॉट साउंड सर आई कैन नॉट हेयर देर इज नो फीडबैक नो फीडबैक टू माई हेयर एज आई हैव स्टेटेड that i am not going going to make any political statement but my submission shall be confined within the parameters of this bill on 19th of may this year the honorable president of india promulgated the government of national capital territory of delhi amendment ordinance 2023 which negates a constitution bench judgment of the supreme court dated 11th may 2023 that brought services under gnctd there could be some symbolism in the ordinance being promulgated in the middle of the night as already stated by some of our, my colleagues just a few hours after the supreme court closed for summer vacation but i am not on that meanwhile the ordinance has been challenged in the supreme court and the matter has since referred to a constitution bench during the pendency of the matter before a constitution bench of the highest court of the land the government has introduced this present bill to repeal the ordinance and for further amending the gnct act 1991 i wondered as to whether heaven would have fallen had the government waited for the outcome of the constitution bench where the ordinance is still pending what is the urgency involved in the matter what is the urgency there is no whisper about the urgency in the bill or the statement which have been received just now after the introduction of the bill that the aforesaid judgment that is judgment dated 11th of may posed certain challenges in the efficient administration of the government of ncct of delhi which needed to be addressed through appropriate legal interventions according to me this is a stigma on the highest forum of our judiciary which must be deprecated by all conscious citizens of this country said in the year 2021 in the matter of madras bar association the supreme court held inter alia and i quote one line a legislation can be declared as unconstitutional if it is in violation of the principle of separation of powers the rule of law and article 14 of the constitution that is arbitrariness therefore once there is such a judgment which was delivered in 2001 government ought to have abide by that judgment of supreme court which is otherwise a requirement under the constitution i am coming to that later on sir the question is whether the legislative assembly of delhi has powers over all matters in list 2 except the matters in entries 1 2 and 18 which is public order police and land it apparent in apparent defiance of the 11th may judgment this bill seeks to amend the gnct act for abridgement of the powers conferred upon the gn city delay station by the constitution because the entry number 41 is short to be taken away uh, is short to be inserted through this bill so 3 will be 
rightly pointed out by our senior counsel, Mr. Abhishek Manu Singh Biji. Now, sir, when a constitutional bench comprising five judges of Supreme Court declares or and, and or interprets Article 239AA3A of the Constitution, the same is binding upon all courts and authorities in India in terms of Article 141 and 144, respectively. Neither Article 239AA3A nor Articles 141 and 144 can be negated without a constitutional amendment. I repeat, without a constitutional amendment, this cannot be done. And if at all the government brings, subsequently we'll have to bring if they wish, because this legislation will be declared null and void as a student of law, I understand. It will be done. But if the government at all in future brings a constitutional amendment bill, that will also hit by this, the principle of separation power, separation of powers, and federalism, which are the basic structures of the Constitution that was held by the Supreme Court right from the Keshavadondo Haruti case till Minerva Mill case. Yes. 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 Sir, this bill, or uh, the, uh, this bill seeks to render the GNCTD Assembly, or for that matter, the Delhi government virtually toothless and ineffective in so far as the services and service commission are concerned, even a constitutional bill on this score shall be unconstitutional have an issue as it will negate federalism and separation of powers already stated by me. Sir, now let me have a look at the bill once. Possibly that will be the final bill of seven minutes already elapsed. Come to part four, A. It says about provisions relating to the maintenance of democratic and administrative balance in the governance of national capital territory of Delhi. What a brilliant drafting. To maintain a balance, the original act was, came into being in 1991. We are in 2023. So for the last 33 years, there was no balance. There was no balance. That is why. All on a sudden, the Kumbhakarna has risen from the deep sleep to maintain a balance. Yes. Wow. Interestingly, the authority has been proposed to be created. Which authority? Already stated by other members, the Chief Minister, Chief Secretary, Home Secretary. Sir, please give me a two minutes. Please give me a two minutes. Very interesting bill. Chief Minister, Home Minister, uh, Chief Minister, Chief Secretary, and Home Secretary. And whatever may be recommended by the Chief Minister, if it is not accepted by the two bureaucrats, then also it will be passed it, and the electoral government will accept it. So, Chief Minister will be a, what should I say? Uh, okay. What should I say? Without any authority. He does not have any authority. The bureaucrat will prevail upon him. Sir, in democracy, will of the people is supreme. Vox populi, vox dei. Sabar upore manus sattva tahar upore nai. Will of the people. But here, the will of the people, which has been reflected through election, the duly elected constitution, elected government, his chief minister has no power. The bureaucrat will overrule the recommendations of the chief minister. This is a draconian bill. This is against all spirit of the Constitution. And every citizen of this country should oppose this bill in the manner, not only inside Parliament, even outside Parliament, voice is to be read. So finally, finally, with your kind permission, I would like to quote from uh, Judgment Online of former Chief Justice Y.V. Chandrachur, the father of the present Honorable Chief Justice of India. Quote, Parliament cannot, under Article 368, expand its amending power so as to acquire for itself the right to repeal 
or abrogate the Constitution or to destroy its basic essential features. Here is a case where the basic features are being destroyed. And answer, answer. According to me, according to my party, all in the Trinamool Congress, this, bill, this government seeks to insert entry 41 of the list 2 into Article 230 and ACA, thereby expanding the scope of accepted matters so that the bill virtually stands against the heaven, against, stands against the heaven of freedom into which Rabindra Tagore wanted his country to awake as the bill reflects the abyss unrestricted of unrestricted power to ensure emergence of a banana republic. Thank you, sir. Shri Tiruchi Shiva.